owners and more will soon get a chance to consider a new curbside recycling program for the city. A special election has been set for May 9th of this year. City Manager Brooks Mitchell says one of the most frequently asked questions about the upcoming vote is this, why is the city bringing it to voters again? Well, the last time it was on the ballot was six years ago, and it was a very close vote. It was defeated, but since then, the city has continued to grow in, in population. We continue to give requests for curbside recycling, and the, we felt like that the city had grown enough and there was still enough demand for it that we should put it back out in front of the voters again to see what they say. Another frequently asked question, how much would the service cost each residential customer and how much would the city pay the recycling service provider? If approved, the contract for the service would last for five years with a monthly rate of $3.90 for residential customers and $1.95 for qualifying senior citizens for that first year. Mitchell says the city will subsidize the difference between the actual cost of the service and the amount charged to residents by scaling back operations at the current recycling center. Well, the city right now operates its own recycling center. They're off of Telephone Road and, and North 3rd Street. And so with, the, with this recycling program, if it's approved, what it, what it will allow us to do is to scale back the operations that we have at our current recycling facility and the savings from that we will give back to our customers, our residential customers, in the form of a lower rate for this recycling project. So that's how everyone can save 40 cents a month. Mitchell added that if there are any unexpected increases due to extraordinary circumstances such as unforeseen increases in fuel costs, the City of Moore would bear that cost difference and not pass it on to residents. He adds that city leadership is confident the savings from scaling back the current recycling program will be enough to offset the annual increase. Yes, we still believe that we'll save enough money with, our, with the changes on the recycling center that uh, it would cover that 2% over the next four years. If voters approve the program, Republic Services would provide the curbside recycling program. Mitchell says the city already contracts with Republic for commercial waste disposal and that curbside recycling would just be an add-on service. We've had a long relationship with Republic that we feel has been very good and so this is an add-on service that they're willing to offer and because of the relationship that the city has with Republic we feel that this would be a good way for us to go and we feel that uh, this would be the, be the best benefit for our residents too. If passed, the proposed curbside recycling program would be rolled out to the community within four to six months. That includes educating customers on the program details and the rollout process. Republic would have to order the poly carts and get them distributed and other things they would have to do to gear up to be able to provide the service and, and they have said it, it happens between four and six months. A recycling poly cart would be provided with a differing color and specific signage to help distinguish it from regular poly carts, and pickup would take place every other week on the customer's same trash day. The new curbside recycling program would also be mandatory for every residential utility customer. In our research what we have found is that opt-in programs don't generate a very large degree of participation, generally under 20 percent. And so in order to make a significant difference in the amount of waste that goes to the landfill, it needs to be a mandatory program. Multifamily customers like apartment complexes aren't included because they are commercial accounts with commercial dumpsters that require different trucks to pick up their waste. After hearing from residents about the desire for curbside recycling, city leaders believe now is a good time to offer voters another chance to cast their votes on the program. Well, it's a good program. It's been successful in other cities. Uh, we feel like the proposal that we have is a very cost affordable program. And, you know, the contract runs for five years. And if it turns out that uh, the program is not successful, then the city council at the end of five years uh, can make changes to it or eliminate it. You can learn more about the upcoming curbside recycling vote by visiting cityofmore.com slash curbside recycling 23.